Hey guys, Steve Welch, Beeman Toyota, downtown Nashville with your Toyota trim level series. Uh, once again, I am master certified in everything Toyota. I am a sales society winner with Toyota, a product trainer here at Beeman and a mentor. So I do know my product. I wanted to show you, this is the 2020 SR5 Premium. Um, I've already done a video on the SR5. So this is the 2020 SR5 Premium. It's the sold unit, but um, definitely wanted to uh, give you some uh, uh, visuals of it here so you can get, see what the difference is between the two. Um, so you're going to see you do have your same wheels um, that you have on your non-premium, your 17-inch alloy wheels on there. Um, you still have your power-up, power-down window, all of that type of stuff that you're that you're normally used to. The outside looks very, very similar, and it is the same as a um, SR5 non-premium. Towing package is standard. Um, you now have push-button start, so you have your power-up, power-down back window uh um up downs back there whatever you want to call that your switch um so you can definitely see around the outside just kind of giving a idea here then your front of course with your fog lights your safety sense system which is right there i'll post a link about what the safety sense is uh this one has safety sense p um so and also remember it does not have the steering assist on that so i'm going to show you the inside here this is your sand beige interior beautiful interior um kind of look at your steering wheel you can tell some things on the steering wheel here you'll notice sunroof you have a sunroof on your premium level you'll also notice this is your soft text leather so um the premium level will have leather so your non-premium does not you're also going to have your power seat with your lumbar of course power up power down all your windows your um, heated windshield wipers as well. It puts the element under there, uh, under your wipers to help you to um, be able to free your wipers should you ever have ice on those. And in Nashville, that's pretty much what we get. Um, back seat, just kind of taking a look here and I'll get in the front here in just a second, give you some more uh, on the front. I'm just kind of showing you here. Now this one does offer a third row seat. This one does not have a third row seat, but the SR5 Premium can come equipped with a third row seat. So um, rear vents, you also have your uh, USB ports here in the back, three total USB ports in your 4Runner. You also have your center console that'll fold down for you. Headrest, uh, obviously fold up, fold down. Um, now I like to bring up that the forerunner is pretty much on its own for how the rear seats fold. You pull those up. When you pull those up, you see you have your little latch down there. So you could realistically, you could pull your seats up and put some totes here or something like that if you wanted to without pulling the other seat down. But here is your other button for pulling your seat down. Your headrest slides back into this cavity here. And then you can see how you look here to the back. Um, so that box, by the way, is the all-weather floor mats that come with this particular vehicle. So um, that is an option. You can get all-weather or you can get carpeted. Um, that's an option for you. So now we're looking here. You can see that if there was a third row here, you would have a module that would be in the back, give you a, a little bit more height um, that's on this back here. But uh, this one, like I said, does not. You have your plug here, standard plug. So that you can plug in you also have your cigarette style plug cigarette letter style plug that's beside it a little bit of storage over here to the right for you i uh, also have the room to where if you wanted to put a tonneau in there you could also your uh second row and i'm going to go ahead and kind of shut this again for us here uh by the way your speakers are in your back door as well that actually makes for a lot better sound so i actually like that uh, backup camera of course but i'm going to come back here i do want to show you this lever right here what this lever does i'm going to kind of hit it and show you you can recline the back seat so and you can recline it to several positions but this is the far position so you can kind of get an idea of uh, how comfortable you can be in the back seat um, for however you'd like to drive so now we're going to take a look on the inside here i'm going to go ahead and get us started by the way you have a 4.0 liter engine in this vehicle um, with your five speed transmission, um, your uh, hill start and downhill assist control, um, which is up here. So you have your uh, downhill assist control up here, um, SOS button, 
SOS button is actually if you hit that button, call for help. Uh, you can find out, uh, you know, they, if you have a flat tire, they'll come help you. Um, stuff like that. That's free for the first year after that. It is $8 per month or $80 a year if you choose to do it. Self-dimming mirror. The self-dimming mirror is pretty cool. Spot for your um, sunglasses, of course. These are your home links right here. Those are for uh, opening your garage doors. You've got three of those, all programmable as well. Map lights on either side, of course. Make sure we see those. Um, also, if you drop down here, you'll also see you have your light above, and that is on both sides. As you can see, it's over here as well. Um, now, kind of getting back to um, what I was mentioning earlier. So here we go, power up, power down, back back window. These are your heated seats. So in the SR5 Premium, it's not only leather, it's heated leather, so definitely remember that. You have single climate control, so you don't have dual climate control. All right, um, you have your map. And I, I have a video on the dynamic navigation that shows you how to use that, but you can kind of get an idea. It's all touch screen, eight inch touch screen. Dynamic navigation is standard in this particular one. Um, and, and actually in the uh, the SR5 Premium, it's standard now. Um, eight speakers, hands-free Bluetooth, um, three uh, USB ports, two in the back, one in the front. Sirius is also standard. Um, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are standard as well. In order to uh, use both of those, you do have to plug it into that particular USB port right there. Um, but they are standard on this particular uh, forerunner of course push button start you saw me just go ahead and push it right here uh, your push button start is also standard so um, I'll also show you your key looks just like this for your push button start so push button start is like I said standard you also have your smart key system where you can grab the handle on the outside or touch the handle on the outside to lock or unlock your car you don't actually have to pull it out of your pocket so that is the smart key system um, it's one of my favorite uh, favorite systems of course so um, kind of looking around here you can kind of see the interior the you know getting a good look now your dash has been redesigned all of them have the same dash pretty much here unless you get to the top level I believe the limited is a little bit different but um, uh, actually I stand corrected I don't think the limited is different I think it's the same but uh, I'll double check to be sure on that but you can see your tachometer left there your speedometer everything has a new redesigned look to it um, they made it look a little bit more sleek a little bit more modern so that's a pretty cool thing there too intermittent wipers definitely on here with your rear wiper on your uh, SR5 premium all your safety sense like I said your steering wheel you can take a look at it it's very similar to uh, uh, what the Tundra was last year things like that and, and what the forerunner was as well but you've added this um, as well for your um, safety sense so four-wheel drive down here is your four-wheel drive you've seen some that have the stick down here um, some that have the dial your SR5 premium will always have your dial uh, down there um, and then you can also see, I'll come back to home here. You've got, you know, audio, stuff like that. Everything's a touch screen, AM, FM, Bluetooth, your apps button. It's going to look for your apps through your Toyota app. So you can use that or you can use CarPlay. Um, so you've got your integrated map. You can use your maps through CarPlay as well. So you've got uh, the ability to use Google Maps, uh, Apple Maps, Waze, um, you know, through Android Auto. you got your maps through there too. So uh, definitely lots of options when you are looking to... Um, get into a new vehicle and, and looking to use this particular system. Um, so I'm kind of looking at my notes here. So you have your uh, um, skid plates on the engine, the front suspension, and your fuel tank and transfer case to try to protect those in case you're off-road. Full-size spare tire, that's something that's really good too. This is the premium audio system that is standard, like I said. Um, Safety Connect has one year trial. Destination Assist, where you can actually ask them to send something to your radio. Um, that is with a one year free trial. Wi Fi Connect has two gigabytes and a three month trial. So, um, if you wanted to use Wi Fi, this vehicle does have that. Um, that's through ATT. You would have to buy an additional phone line if you wanted to use that. Um, the outside, you saw this was the white color. I've had some people ask if it's available in Blizzard Pearl. The answer is no, it is not available in Blizzard Pearl in this trim level you have to go to the limited to get the blizzard pearl uh, so you don't have the pearl finish you have to go to the top of the line um, this one is known as super white um, i'll kind of give you the the look at it from inside the vehicle here um, but definitely have all your power windows power locks power mirrors all the, all that's power automatic high beams part of your safety sense all of that is standard as well um, you're 
going to this one as it looks here is uh, MSRP of forty two three fifty nine. Um, kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at. All of them have the tow hitch uh, with your seven and four pin connectors on there. Like I said, Safety Sense P on this one. Um, dynamic radar cruise control, all your safety system, um, your your star safety systems on here as well, um, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. So um, this one's got the the moonroof. Like I said, you're you're usually going to find it on the premium. Um, it is a option, but most people put them on the premium, so it's very rare that you'll see a premium that does not have the moonroof option. So um, could it have it? Correct, it could. Um, usually you'll find that somebody ordered it that way, but. Uh, um, like I said, it's, it's an option. Then this one, like I said, it's the only other option it has besides the moonroof is the, uh, all weather floor liners. And you'll normally either have all weather or you'll have carpet. Um, so just kind of giving you an overview of your SR5 premium. Once again, Steve Lodge, Beam Toyota in downtown Nashville, um, with your Toyota trim level series, your TTLS. Hopefully I'm helping you guys to learn to, uh, uh, to, to be able to know which is the right forerunner. For you and your family also have other videos on other trim levels uh definitely give me a subscribe thumbs up like i definitely appreciate all those uh, appreciate you guys and uh, we will talk to you guys soon